There are growing health concerns about the use of those earbuds and headphones, especially among school-aged children. According to a new poll from the University of Michigan's C.S. Mott Children's Hospital, most parents say their kids, as young as five, are using these devices and often for long periods of time. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar is here with a closer look. Full disclosure, just came back from a trip. Both yeah. of our kids had the headphones on while we travel. And we've, we've known about, I guess, noise exposure in young children for some time. But now we're talking about very young yeah. children. What's happening? Why the shift? Right. I mean, I think when you think of teenagers, you think of concerts, right? That's yeah. the natural thing to think of. But personally, personal listening devices, kids are getting younger and younger. And the places where they're listening the most at home, in the car, and at school. And this is important because especially with young kids, their hearing canal is, is tiny and mm -hmm. it's growing and it's developing and they are more sensitive to the mm -hmm. effects of that noise-induced hearing loss. And it not, not only can affect their hearing, but it can affect their sleep and their learning and their language. And even the American Academy of Pediatrics sounded the alarm on this a couple of months ago. So mm -hmm. kind of timely for this poll. So two issues, it's volume, but yeah. also the length of time it's that all, they're listening. It's also, so at, at least in, in this way, the trend is actually good. Only about 16% of parents say that their kids are listening for more than two hours, about a quarter, one to two hours. And then over half say that their kids are listening for less than an hour, which is actually kind of the upper limit of normal that, that, that we're looking I for. I have a weird feeling that parents underestimate. Like sometimes yeah. I think we yes. think we know, but we say, I think it was just an hour. But yeah. what can you do to mis minimize the harm? So we have cost? some tips and I really, really like these. The first one is that you are the one in control for, for your children. Think about this. It's called the 60 60-60 rule, a maximum of 60 minutes at 60% of maximum volume, and that is something that you can control. Mm -hmm. A quick way to know if your kid is listening to something that's too loud, if you are arm's length away from them and they have something yeah. on their ears and they can't hear you, it is too uh, loud. Uh, the they second, may be ignoring you. Yeah, that's exactly. Or they're, or they're ignoring it's you. It's a really good shot. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the second thing is you can use noise cancellation devices, but not when they're biking or when they need to hear yeah. honking and things like that. You want to make sure that the volume can't go higher than 70 decibels. Even if it says kids safe, it may not be. Make device free time, right? Put your phones away, put your tablets away, and know the early signs of hearing loss. This could include things like they're asking you to repeat or they are speaking loudly, things like that. See the pediatrician, see an audiologist, go see an ENT. You only have one sense of hearing. And once you lose it from noise, it is irreversible. Oh, yeah. So now, I mean, I mean, like these right. devices are ubiquitous, right? Yeah. In younger kids, so parents, caregivers. Okay. Doctor, is that okay. Great tip? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com/allday or click the link right here.